Well, good morning. It's Christmas Eve, and I want to talk to you about the single most important thing there is to setting up and maintaining a tropical fish tank. And that thing is substrate. It's what's at the bottom of your tank that makes all the difference to what happens in the water in your tank. Now let me say from the beginning that substrate can be anything or in effect nothing. The reality is that the roots of plants create an anaerobic environment around themselves in order to be able to break down waste and absorb it. They do this by releasing carbon into their immediate environment, which combines with oxygen to create CO2. In an environment where there is no circulation, that can be maintained without the use of any kind of substrate. There are some hobbyists on YouTube who maintain tanks very effectively with no substrate at all. The secret to their success is that their water has no circulation at all. And so the roots are able to maintain their environment, the environment they need in order to be able to absorb nutrients without depending on being in a substrate. That is an unusual condition. And it's one that only the most sophisticated hobbyist is truly capable of maintaining. The alternative, especially for new people setting up their first or one of their first aquariums, is to use substrate. So it becomes important to understand what the purpose of substrate is. Substrate is what the water lives in. It is what the water lives in. The water is contained in an aquarium. Plastic, acrylic, metal, wood, whatever you have to hold your water. But it's not living in that. It's, it's feet are in or are the substrate in the water column. And in principle, the deeper that substrate, the healthier the water. Why is this? Simply because as substrate deepens, strata increase so that there are different kinds of animals, different kinds of, of uh, bacteria, and even different kinds of plants living at different levels in the substrate. And each one of them carry out a different function. How deep should it be? It depends entirely on what the material is. The principle is to be able to get the substrate to a depth where water flow will not affect it. That means you need to go with sand below two inches, with gravel below four inches. 
So if you want to use gravel or small stone, you need that to be four inches deep on top of whatever the media is you're using as an organic substrate. So if you use potting soil, if you use a commercial product, you want that to be two inches deep with two inches of sand or four inches of gravel or small stone on top of it. This allows the roots that are planted in the, ca in the cap, in the cover, not in the dirt. You plant them in the cap, in the sand or in the gravel, and give the roots the choice of where they want to go. A certain amount of the organic material will bleed up into that cap, and the, uh, the roots will be able to absorb nutrients as it rises in organic, or I should say um, anaerobic, anaerobically derived nutrients as they rise up, the roots will be able to absorb that. If they need to, they can go down into the substrate. So that's the basic principle. A substrate keeps the water pure by providing a place for it to precipitate out all of its organics and all of its particulate matter. It goes down into the substrate and most critically the substrate needs to be deep enough for it to stay there. The difficulty, for example, with a shallow gravel substrate is that the uh, detrius goes down in it, the water go follows it in, and pulls it right back out again. So there's no difference between the water quality in the substrate and the water quality above the substrate. It needs to be deep enough for some other things to take place for the particulate matter and for the biologicals to be, and to be able to precipitate into the substrate and go down deep enough that they're effectively locked in. It then becomes the job of the plants to pull them out, to pull out the nutrients. That creates a cycle in which waste precipitates into the substrate. It's broken down in the deeper levels of the substrate and it's taken up by the roots of the plants to create leaves, to create plant material, which then in time is, is eaten or dies and disintegrates and returns into what really is a layer of soil. So if you keep this principle in mind as you're setting up your aquarium, you will be able to provide the aquarium with what it needs in order to be able to thrive. Treat it as a living organism. A filter can only do so much. It can't really perform the chemical and biological functions that are needed. A deep substrate will, and it will do it permanently, which is to say you never want to clean that substrate. Don't go down in it and stir it up. You'll just be stirring up trouble, and you'll be destroying what the aquarium has created. And it won't be happy about that. It'll be very injured, and you could easily kill everything. What's in the substrate stays in the substrate. 
until the roots decide to bring it up and to let it flourish in beautiful plant growth. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them as a comment. I'm happy to respond and will respond to every comment. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell so we can stay in touch. Have a very Merry Christmas. I wish you and yours happy fishing. Keep your fish alive and well and healthy with a forever aquarium.